She says she was shot while trying to stop thieves from stealing her car. But now this Kansas City mom is suing the company that made her car. We thank you for joining us here tonight. I'm Carolyn Long. And I'm Brad Stevens. The new lawsuit argues Hyundai chose profit over safety, which led to a rash of car thefts. This filing argues that Hyundai should be held accountable for what happened to this young mother. And she talks to KCTV5 investigative reporter Angie Racono. This shooting took place back in April. The young mother got up to get her son a bottle of milk, and she heard something in the driveway. I had no idea that this was even like a thing out here, um, that people were breaking into these cars. And how I found out was I was shot. Gabrielle Lawton says she learned about a rash of Kia and Hyundai car thefts when thieves came to her driveway. Oh gosh, they're about to break into my car. Open the window up. Get away from my car. She yelled at them to get away from inside her home. She was shot through the window. You hear gunshots. My baby is upstairs. It, it, it was just so much at one time. She spent a month in the hospital recovering from the gunshot and infection that followed. The bullet is still inside her today. Right here. Doctors told her it was too dangerous to remove. A new lawsuit blames the company for trying to save money by not installing a $200 part called an engine immobilizer. That makes it more difficult to steal cars. From the lawsuit, Hyundai sold millions of unsafe cars to unsuspecting consumers throughout the United States without warning prospective customers of the heightened safety risk. Without an ignition immobilizer, Hyundai cars became prime targets for car thieves because they are easy to steal. What Hyundai and Kia forgot is that safety is not expensive, it's priceless. Gabrielle's attorneys say Hyundai could issue a recall and install those immobilizers, but they made a different choice and offered a software upgrade that doesn't eliminate the problem. Gabby's not the only person this has happened to. I mean, uh, there have been multiple deaths across the country related to the thefts of these vehicles. Many blame social media, which spread information about how easy it is to steal these cars and even offered how-to videos. Kansas City and other cities have recently sued Kia and Hyundai, highlighting the number of stolen vehicles, pointing to the drain on public services and the danger. In 2019, about 1,200 were stolen. In 2022, that number jumped to more than 6,000. It was a $100 part. And the fact that you guys didn't put this in, and I'm not the only one with a story like this. KCTV5 Investigates reached out to Hyundai. They offered a lengthy response saying they are committed to quality and integrity of our products. And point out there is now a software upgrade. They are also offering free steering wheel locks through police. Okay, okay. Yeah. Gabrielle says she's lucky she survived and left her son in his crib that night, but there should still be accountability. I have to be grateful um, that I'm here and that I survived because, because if not, I wouldn't be able to be present for my son. Um, I have to constantly be in a state of gratefulness that he wasn't with me, that I'm here, that I get to see him. Um, that we made it to the hospital. Kansas City police have not solved who's responsible for shooting Gabrielle. If you have any information, you are asked to call the tips hotline. In Kansas City, Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.